Hello everyone, welcome back to more Pokemon Shadows Emerald. I was about to say yellow, I had it in my head, but anyway, we're back. I did not do anything to put Yenna to level it up, because it already is part of the team in that sense. So let me just switch this around and go over to the next trainer, which is over here, so we can fight her and just... I'm going to keep winning and aiming to be the best trainer. Help me further my career. Uh, no, actually, I'm gonna become the strongest trainer to exist, so you're gonna help me further my career. So yeah, Tiana. I think you're going to this, huh? Well, Trico can easily take care of that, but then absorb. Trico's gonna suck early on in the game, but then once we get, uh, you know, over that threshold, I don't know, the fucking over the hill. There you go. That's the better word. Sometimes I got words in my head that just don't line up with a sentence and I still toss it in there. So anyway, you know, for someone who does commentary on videos, you would, you would expect, you know, being able to talk is one of the things that they can do. But lo and behold, not really. Anyway, once we get over that hill, once we get Groval, oh, everything will be going swimmingly for us. And I'm not lying here, actually. I am actually speaking the truth. It's rumors it is. Well, Puchena it is. Get in there, take out this, uh, shroomish. Oh, man. Ah, shroomish, yay. I'm also gonna own more than six Pokemon. And that's not over the course of the end of the game. No, I mean in this game. I'm gonna own more than seven po uh, Seven, yes. I think it's more than seven. Yeah, it might be around ten or something like that. I don't know. Because I decided, you know what? I'm not gonna make, like, one team. I'm just gonna do, like, uh... I'm just gonna make, like, uh, in a sense, like, this is an actual Pokemon series. Like, oh, look at that Pokemon. I'm gonna catch it and add it to my team. In that sense, come on, will you please just fucking die? Thank you. I ended up furthering your career. Yes, you did. Thank you very much. I appreciated that one. Let's pick up this, uh, potion. A whole one potion, actually. You may also be thinking, are, are you going to use a Pokeball on a uh, Pokemon that you own? Are you going to catch a Pokemon in a Pokeball? Yes, because the way that I see it, Trico comes in a starter ball, which, I don't know, let's just say it's like a Pokeball with like a green leaf on it or something like that, I don't know. Or just an S on it for starter. Welcome to Battlework City. First up, we must heal. Yeah, welcome to the Bomber Center, yada yada yada, come on. I don't need to hear this. I already hear it, heard it enough in uh, Pomo Yellow. I also don't know like what my end team is gonna be. I don't know what when my Pokemon ate an Orenberry, it regained HP. Well, 10 HP, sure. There are many types of Pokemon. All types have their strengths and weaknesses against other types. Depending on the type of Pokemon, a battle could be easy or hard. For example, your Trico is a Grass type. It's strong against the Water and Ground types, but also Rock types and Whatever. You know what? Let's just keep it at that one. But it's uh, weak against fire Pokemon and bug and flying and ice and <laughs> poison and... <laughs> yeah. We'll power through. Don't you worry about it. That PC-based Pokemon storage system. Whoever made it must be some kind of scientific wizard. It was you, wasn't it? Hello there, trainer. You've got a wonderful smile there. I have a hobby, collecting the profiles of Pokemon Trainers, so how about it? May I see your profile? Sure. Thank you, let's see then. I am a Pokemon villain. Dah. I'm a Pokemon abuser, I don't know. No, I don't do that kind of stuff, I don't really want that. I also don't know if my mic is picking up my headset. I don't think it will, but even if a Pokemon is weak now, it'll grow stronger. The most important thing is love. Love for your Pokemon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's not. Do you use Repel? It keeps Pokemon away, so it's useful when you're in a hurry. I'm actually very mean to my Pokemon, to be honest. Do you think... Do you have any antidotes with you? If you walk around with a poisoned Pokemon, it will lose HP until it faints. Take some antidotes with you. I was hoping he would give it to me. I'm actually pretty mean to my Pokemon because of the fact that, uh, you know, my dad lost the league and then kind of like, he's never really been nice. 
Let's say you have six Pokemon, and if you catch another one, it is automatically sent to, the, to a storage box over a PC connection. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, uh, after that, my dad lost the league, and you know, became a gym leader. I kind of saw that as giving up, and so I didn't want to be weak like him. Where is our Wally gone? We have to leave for Verdant Turf Town very soon. Also, my brother tried out the uh, Pokemon League Challenge in Hoenn and lost as well, so... Yeah, I'm not, I don't come from the best of families, but maybe I can make it. So that kind of made me a bit bitter towards it, and you know, where it's like... Strength is all that matters, don't you worry, that'll change. I battled Norman once, but whew, he was way too strong, how would I put it? I just got the feeling that he lives for Pokemon. Yeah, not for his family. Norman became our town's new gym leader. I think he called his family over from somewhere far away. That's basically hinting at the fact that you are not actually from uh, Hoenn, but fuck you, I'm from Hoenn. My face is reflecting in the water. It's a shining grin full of hope, or it could be a look of somber silence struggling with fear. What do you see reflected in your face? Despair. Just despair. Failure. As well. There we go. Traveling is wonderful. When I was young, I roamed the seas and the mountains. <sighs> I wish I could go on an adventure with some Pokemon. Crawling, crawl through some damn grass, climb rocky, rugged mountains, cross the raging seas, wander about in dark caves, and sometimes even get a little homesick. It must be fabulous to travel. Not really. I mean, if you look at Pokedex entries, it's horrible to travel. Seriously, it's absolutely awful. Uh, we got one more house to go. Ah, this jackass. We got one. Hey, uh, are you maybe a rookie trainer? Do you know what Pokemon trainers do when they reach a new town? The first, they first check what kind of gym is in the town. He's got actually a point. That's usually what I do. See, this is the Pelbrook City Gym. This gym is uh, this is the, the gym sign. Look for it whenever you're looking for a gym. I'm also gonna try and get as many gym badges out of order as possible. All right, fuck it. We're going in. Here we are. I challenge you to battle that. Hmm. Well, if it isn't Shadow. Well, if it isn't Shadow! I could use it. I knew it. I knew I was saving that one for this game specifically. Sorry. If you're all finished moving in. Oh, I mean, I think he said so. You're all finished moving in. I'm surprised that you managed to get here by yourself. Well, fuck you too, Dad. You piece of shit. Oh, I see. You're with your Pokemon. Oh, now I understand. I mean, your useless ass would never be able to make it over to me, but... You got a, you got your Pokemon, so you, that's why, oh. <laughs> hmm, then I guess you're going to become a trainer, like me. That me, that's great news, I'm looking forward to it. You jackass, I hate you. Uh, I, I'd like to get a Pokemon, please. Hmm, you're, ah, uh, ah, oh, right. You're Wally, right. I'm going to go stay with my relatives in Verdanturf Town. I thought I would be lonely by myself, so I wanted to take a Pokemon along, but I never caught a Pokemon before. I don't know how. Hmm, I see. Shadow, you heard that, right? Go with Wally. Make sure that he safely catches a Pokemon. Oh, instead of hi, I get this shit. Wow. It's like my real life dad. He also doesn't like me at all. Here, I'll loan you my Pokemon. Oh, wow, a Pokemon. Why didn't you just give him the Pokemon? Hmm, I'll give you a Pokeball too. Go for it. Oh wow, thank you. Would you really come with me? Apparently I have to. It's not like I want to, it's because I have to. God damn it. I actually like Wally. Shadow, Pokemon hide in tall grass like this, don't they? Please watch me and see if I can catch one properly. Whoa! <laughs> ah! Pokemon! Oh, get the fuck out of here. How the hell did you find that one? That's like a 2% chance in it. Actually, I think it's 4. And I think I'm not... I'm actually not joking about it. I think it's actually 4% chance that you can find a Ralts in this play. You jackass. You're not supposed to find a Ralts in here. What's wrong with you? I also can't believe that this is only part 3. I was expecting this to be part 4 already. Hmm. I mean, I did start later and also did some testing beforehand to kind of get the audio corrected. There were... You throw a ball now, right? Yeah, toss a ball. Sure, why not? I did it. I tossed a luxury ball and got myself a six. I uh, mean, Puchena. I also wanted to talk about other things, but uh, I don't know. 
That was like a story I wanted to tell for a while now. It's uh, when I got my Avermedia Game Capture. I'll tell it now. So I got my Avermedia Game Capture HD2, and when I learned that I needed the external hard drive. All right, I did it. It's my my Pokemon. Shadow, thank you. Let's go back to the gym. Kind of wish we walked back, to be honest. So, did it work out? Thank you. Yes, it did. Here's your Pokemon back. Shadow, thank you for coming along with me. You two are why I was able to catch my Pokemon. I was why. Not him. I promise I'll take really good care of it. Oh, my mom is waiting for me, so I have to go. Bye, Shadow. Now... Shadow, if you want to become a strong trainer, here's my advice. Head for Rustboro City, beyond this town. There, you should you should challenge the gym leader Roxanne. After her, go on to other Pokemon gyms and defeat their leaders. Collect badges from them. Understood? Of course, I'm a gym leader too. Well, battle one day, Shadow. That's only after you become stronger. Now it's like, I think he, later on he says like, okay, now that you have four badges, we can fight. Like I promised, but he never says it right here that that's actually gonna happen. But anyway, now back to my, uh, s can't actually. I'm sorry, I can't. Because this is happening. Scott, me boy, you looked a lot fatter in the anime, to be honest. Excuse me, let me guess, you're the... W let me guess, from the way you're dressed, you're a Pokemon trainer. No. I'm a connoisseur. Nah, I'm a Pokemon trainer. Hmm. Well, maybe not. Your clothes aren't all that dirty. Either you're a rookie trainer, or maybe you're just an ordinary kid. Why don't you battle me to find out, huh? I'm roaming the land in search of the, the talented trainers. I'm sorry to have taken your time. Alright, done with that shit. Oh, fuck. Now what? Hmm. Yeah, you know what? I'll do... Fuck it. I was thinking of something, but I'm not gonna do it, so... Here we are, Route 104. Wow, that took that didn't take long at all. Anyway, back to my story. So I learned that I needed an external hard drive for my Evermedia game head capture HD2, which is in my opinion a shitty ass thing, because uh, I wanted that one in a sense specifically for recording PS3 because I can't do that with Roxio. Turns out I can't do that with that thing either because Hi Tello. How are you doing today? Um I actually wanted Taylo, but it uh Ah, fuck it, I'll try it. It's level 5, it's like in primo condition condition in that sense. It's a mwah condition. I must have you. I'll use an absorb. But yeah, anyway, so when I... Afterwards, I ordered my external hard drive. Well, that didn't work out at all. That didn't work out at all. Couple more packs and you're dead. Holy crap, one more pack and you're dead. I'm gonna switch you out because I don't want you to faint ever. Anyway, um, so I uh, ordered an external hard drive, and then when it arrived, apparently the the delivery person decided that it was a good idea to toss that thing through the window. Yep, I'm not even joking about that one. He basically picked up the pack. Like I heard the doorbell, but when I was down when I got downstairs, he was gone. There you go, I caught my second Pokemon. Anyway, when I was downstairs, uh, the I saw like the van drive away. Taylo, tiny swallow Pokemon. Although it. Fuck! Wait, I got like a stupid thing. I don't know what's gonna what it's gonna sound like, but maybe I can, maybe I can use it here. I got like a data dex on my phone. Maybe I can use it here. G give me a minute here. Give me, give me a minute here. Give me a minute here. Where are you, Taylo? 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 Ah, Taylo! Let me see here. I don't know if this is actually gonna work. Um, this is how I do it, right? Taylor courageously stands its ground against foes, however strong they may be. This gutsy Pokemon will remain defiant even after a loss. On the other hand, it cries loudly if it becomes hungry. There you go, that's Taylor's Pokedex entry. Ha! <laughs> I wanted to do that for a while, actually. You know, in, the, in this LP, I'm gonna do that forever. I'm gonna check back, by the way, how it sounds, but... Anyway, but the the uh, the fucking delivery person decided to toss it. It was it was an open window, granted, but yeah. I don't know if that's what you're supposed to do, by the way. Just toss a package through an open window. I probably should do one of these actually for uh, Puchien and uh, Trico as well. Why didn't I do this before? Uh, here we go. 
I don't even know if that Pokedex entry changes. Here we go. Trico, the wood gecko Pokemon. Trico has small hooks on the bottom of its feet that enable it to scale vertical walls. This Pokemon attacks by slamming foes with its thick tail. Oh, that's it. I hope you can hear that, because I don't know how much higher I need to get the fucking volume. Then... Oh, no, 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 shut the fuck up, hey! No, 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 none of that bullshit. I got an ad. Son of a bitch. I got an ad, it was... Alright. Wait, stop, stop. Alright, here we go. Puchina time. Puchina, the bite Pokemon. Puchina, not Puchina. Puchina takes a bite at anything that moves. This Pokemon chases after prey until the victim becomes exhausted. Uh -huh. However, it may turn tail if the prey strikes back. Wow. <laughs> oh man, that's funny. Uh, I wasn't expecting that ad, to be honest. Yeah, I'll do that after every Pokemon I catch. I just need to lo uh, listen to what it sounds like. That way I don't have to fucking read what it says. Even though the Pokedex entries, I do change between games, I don't care. Not you. Hi, are you maybe a rookie trainer? Do you know what Pokemon trainers do when they read? Really? You still say the same stuff? I thought it was going to say something new. Um, but yeah. Let's see here. You are... Ah, you must be Shadow, right? Thank you for playing with Wally a little while ago. Well, I'm really playing, but I... He's been frail and sickly ever since he was a baby. We've sent him to stay with my relatives in Verdurf Town for a while. The air is a lot cleaner there than it is here. Yeah, I mean, you got a gym leader who's got a hot head, so hot air kind of comes out of it, so... What's that? Where's Wally? He's already left our Wally. I wonder where he could have gotten by now. Really? Like, the kid's sick. Basically dying. And you just let him out on his own because he got a Ralts with him. Wow, okay. Wally was really happy when he told us that he caught a Pokemon. It's been ages since I've seen him smile like that. Good for you. Alrighty then, now let's go ever actually into this route. With Tail up front, because... I don't know. I kind of feel like I need to do a little bit of the grinding in that sense. You. If you're going to throw a Pokeball, weaken the Pokemon first. It'll be easier to catch if it's been poisoned, burnt, or lulled to sleep. It's got a point. I also actually wanted to go to the Pokemart in order to sell off all my Pokeballs, because I don't need those anymore. I already caught a Pokemon inside of a Pokeball. Let me just immediately do that stuff. Also, if it gets annoying, I'm sorry. The uh, voice of the Pokedex. I kind of wanted to have a female voice because I find female female voices in a sense more calming than male voices. More male voices are usually more rough than uh, calming. So yeah, don't ask why I did this stuff. I always do this kind of stuff, but I forgot the next Pokemon I'm gonna catch is not gonna be for a while, and I have Rustboro City in between. On our way to Rustboro City, I guess, and our next gym. But we got a trainer to fight over here as well. This person. Alright, Taylor is up front. Yes, Taylor is. I don't know, man. Whew. Back. You don't need a lot of experience points, which is what I like about you. I'm, I'm probably gonna toss you in the back for now. Don't you worry about it. You will be used. Oh, fucking hell. I was standing there. Leaving fruit brands in the sand is so fun. No, it's not. But yeah. Also, I uh, I know this might not be for everyone, but I listened to a new Link Park, newish Link Park song. What are you worth? I think it's called. Um, I listened to that a while ago. Don't worry about it. Apparently, it was one of the two deleted songs from uh, One More Light, and my God, it, to me, it's a banger. I really love the song, but apparently, they didn't want it on the album. So you know, which is kind of understandable if they don't want it on the album. It, you know, I like that as well. But I kind of feel like, you know, you could still release it. Like, Linkin Park used to do that all the time, in a sense. You know, with, like, their underground uh, albums, or whatever you want to call them, EPs, whatever. They always, like, had, like, deleted songs, you know, cut songs, demos, all that stuff. So, I feel like What Are You Worth and even Ricochet, which is a song that's still unknown to the public, um, actually would have probably been released. I'm actually going to use uh, Taylor now. But, yeah, they would probably have been released on the uh, Linkin Park Underground if what... To happen to Jester didn't happen. But I think What Are You Worth is really... I, I like the song, to be honest. I feel like it would have fit on One More Light a lot. And would probably be one of my favorite songs on One More Light, to be honest. Let me use Focus Energy and Growl a bit. Because Bite, in case you don't know, it takes like three turns to do something. That is the last turn. I'm not going to do anything. 
Anyway, all the damage that CDOT now takes, it will deal back to me and increase it by Jubel. So it will double the damage that it has taken and de deliver that shit to me. And I don't want that, because I don't know if Taylor would be able to... Yep, Taylor would have been fucked up. Taylor would have been completely wrecked right then and there. But yeah. Anyway, What Are You Worth was a really good song, I liked it. It was also just Mike singing, but... You know, no Chester, so yeah. I'm kinda like, also like... Alright, Taylor, Taylor, calm down. Calm the fuck down, what's wrong with you? Huh? What's wrong with you? Well, I got sand in my runners. They're all gritty. But anyway, uh, I feel like this is kind of like a way that Linkin Park could potentially continue on. I mean, the way that Link... What the fuck was that? Um... The sea, huh? I wonder what it's like at the bottom of the sea. Ooh, spoiler warning. Anyway, um... Ah, oh, fuck, we're at the end of the video. Ah, whatever, I'll do this video. Uh, I fished up a tough-looking Pokemon. It has this magical quality to it, I'm sure... It surely looks tough. Yes, it does. Anyway, I feel like Linkin Park could continue without Chester Bennington in a sense. With, like, What Are You Worth? And also, like, the entire fucking album of Post Traumatic in a sense. In that style, Linkin Park could easily continue, I feel like. If Mike takes over the role of Chester, in a sense, with singing. Now, I don't know how they're gonna do the older songs, because, you know, Chester had his specific parts for the in those songs. But now they can, in a sense, write songs that, are, that don't have Chester in mind. Because even like post traumatic, I kind of see as like a spin off of like Linkin Park. To be honest, I'm like, if I listen to post traumatic, I'm like, this could t it could have easily been. It's like a mashup between Linkin Park and Fort Minor. To be honest, but that's because Mike Shinoda was part of both. Anyway, done with that fight. So I'm gonna be calling it here. Next time, we're gonna be going into the Pedalburg Woods and see what we can explore there. So, I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you did, please hit the like button, subscribe if you're new, turn on notifications, and as always, thank you for. Bye!